Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the Dentist Saw channel. I am Future Dent Saw and today we are doing something a little bit different. If you are new around here, I really hope that you do subscribe right down there below. Uh, on this channel I do dentistry related stuff, motivational stuff, I might do a funny video every once in a while. So it's basically a whole compilation of my entire life uh, as I go through dentistry. Currently I am a third year dentist, I've just begun my third year. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what comes up this year in dentistry uh, and just to see where life takes me. So uh, if you are around here be sure to subscribe uh, and let's get on with this video I have done a collaboration with this uh, youtuber from the UK uh, called Savira Khan she is a fifth year dentist and uh, I asked her a couple of questions about dentistry what it's like in upper years uh, which year she found harder just things like that and um, let's react to those questions and see what she has to say hi Oh my gosh, this feels so strange. Like, I feel like I should say, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. But obviously, this isn't my channel. Hi, dentist. Okay, so, um... I have some questions that I have to answer, but before I do, I'd just like to say thank you so much for collaborating with me, like you made my life. This is like the first call out, this is so exciting, and if you guys do want to subscribe to my channel, I'm sure Dentist Sad will put a link on my channel in the thing below, and just type my name, Savita Cat. But yeah, I'm a final year dentist student at Dundee, and... Here goes nothing. So the first question was, how does it feel to nearly be a dentist? Let's see her reaction. I don't know, it feels really strange. Like, to be honest, it hasn't hit me yet because it just hasn't, like, I don't know, I feel nothing. Well, I don't feel nothing, I just don't feel anything. I feel like I have another 10 years to go. Obviously, like, I think when I'm like, when I've graduated, it will hit me. So yeah, it basically feels like nothing. That was quite interesting. <laughs> that wasn't the answer that we were expecting, but I mean, it's a truthful answer. So it feels like nothing. Um, let's move on. <laughs> Next question. Looking back to before you applied, why dentistry? Why not medicine? So the question is, looking back to before you applied, why did you choose dentistry? Why not medicine? This feels like such an Asian parent question to ask their kids. Um, I didn't do medicine because honestly, like, I feel like for me, I wanted to do something that, yeah, I could be a professional in, but I didn't want to spend like a thousand years having to sort of specialize and do all that kind of stuff. Whereas, because with dentistry, it's quite a specialized medical degree. So you've got your five years and you've got your vocational year. Then if you want to specialize, you can do that. But with medicine, like you have to do your five years and then you have to do your other like five years. And I just thought, I'm gonna work my butt off to get to where I am and I just want to like take it like kind of easy from there like I don't want to spend like a hundred years having to do something but to be fair like sometimes when we do learn about the medical stuff I am like oh like cardiovascular and all that kind of stuff but yeah I guess the main thing for me was it just didn't really fit in with my life plans back then um but yeah um, so I think I agree with this point because initially even I personally had applied for medicine in the UK but when I got rejected that gave me that chance to actually go and research into what I actually like um, and I realized that medicine really wasn't for me because um, it's like they say if you're going to do medicine never do it for the money that is literally the worst thing you can do to your life because when you start medicine it's going to be studying for the rest of your life you're going to be um, in the library with your head down studying so only do it if you actually enjoy it because there's so much to do and it's basically you dedicating yourself to a life of studying whereas with dentistry it's sort of like um, you do your studies you if you want to specialize you can specialize or you can just work as a dentist and um, just have a relaxed life which is sort of what I wanted to go towards Next question. So I asked her, what is the most mentally challenging year? And describe why. Okay, question number three. Most mentally challenging year and why? Describe it in three words. I think the most mentally challenging year where I had like all my breakdowns was actually like fourth year. And if I were to describe it in three words, I would say year. Bit scary because I'm in third year right now. Fourth is coming up. <laughs> anyway, keep going. You're from hell. Those are such kind words. But on she is a year from hell. Oh my god. Now I'm scared for fourth year. <laughs> but honestly, like fourth year was so hard. And I think it's because like in first year and second year for us, it was a lot of like um more textbook sort of stuff that you learn kind of like high school. But in third year and fourth year it's your clinical years. And third year wasn't as hard for me because like it was our first year onto clinic, so they didn't really ask us, I felt anyway, like 
really super hard questions but then in fourth year like I don't know where these questions came from but they came from somewhere and I was like I haven't learned about this and it was just so hard and the pass marks were so high so I don't think I've studied as much as I did last year and I don't think I've had as many breakdowns as I did in fourth year so beware to people who are going into fourth year like it's hard yeah, this is a little bit different from uh, what I've heard, at least from our university that I'm studying right now. I've just started my third year, and um, every open year that I ask, they literally say third year is the year from hell. Third year is a year where you suffer. Because um, in third year, we have uh, quite a few compulsory exams. Now, um, in Plovdiv or in Bulgaria, when you're studying here, you have compulsory exams, and then you have the non compulsory exams. The compulsory exams are exams that you have to pass within that year, so. Uh, you can't carry them on to next year whereas the non-compulsory exams if you fail them you have a chance to reset them over the years and you just have to pass them before you do your stay exam which i which i think is in fifth or sixth year the third year has the most compulsory exams so everyone says that this is the hardest year um at our university next question for this one i asked do you want to specialize in a specific type of dentistry let's see her response we're like i don't know um yeah, so basically I don't know. I think my plan is at the moment, like I'll graduate and then work a year in VT and then I'll just like work a few years in general practice and see how I get on really. It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of a little bit like obnoxious or arrogant to be like, oh, I want to do this right now because let's be real, like I don't have much sort of experience to decide like what I'm really good at and what I want to pursue. But um, yeah, like I definitely would be up for doing something in the future. Um, I really like paediatric dentistry, like I love kids. So I guess that's something that is quite interesting for me. And there are a lot of like work experience things that I'm planning to do with it. So maybe that was what I will specialize in. That is fair enough. That's a pretty good point right there. I feel like it's really difficult to decide what you want to specialize on, um, especially not actually knowing as much about the subject as you would have liked to know before you make that decision. Um, personally, I have literally no idea what I want to specialize in. I'm still in third year. I'm still trying to figure things out. But um, hopefully by the time I graduate, by the time I'm in sixth year, um, by the way, in Bulgaria it's six years for dentistry, but we do get a master's degree at the end. Next question aware that you're going to be pausing this on my face. This is really awkward. Please don't pause it on a minute. Pause it on a face. Pause it on a face. But I'm joking. I'm joking. Keep playing the video. How difficult is it to get into dentistry in the UK? Oh, so I'm actually going to do like a video dedicated to this because I feel like a lot of my viewers have asked me about this. But um, how easy is it? It's not easy. Like you need to get like it's weird because the Scottish system and the English system is quite different and I think maybe our exams are a little bit harder because we don't need to get like A star or anything and our conditions are usually like less than English people but um, it's not easy you're competing with loads of people and like thousands of applications and you have to set the UK cap which is like an IQ test which I've done like a video on feel free to check it yeah link in the description it's tough and that you're competing with a ton of people wait what else did say um requirements study wise like you need to study your socks off in high school you need to get like all a grades pretty much because if you think about it most people will have those grades and then like i said you need to do well in the uk cat and then after that like you're ranked and some unis prefer like uk cat as opposed to grades some unis prefer like grades and personal statement as opposed to uk cat so it kind of depends but i mean it's not easy i would say so, like in Scotland it's harder probably to get into dentistry than medicine because there are only like two undergrad dental schools so yeah it's really hard and um extracurricular work experience for most unis I think you need to do like at least a week at a dental practice and you do need to like show that you've got all the skills that a dentist has so like empathy working in a care home would be a great thing and I feel like it's getting tougher as the years are going by because I don't know why I feel like younger people are a lot smarter like People are getting really clever these days. I feel like that's true as well because I've noticed that everything that I used to do in year 10, my little sister's doing it in year 7 now. I think the younger years are just doing more and more work. So it seems like it is really difficult to get into dentistry in Dundee or um, in the UK in general because I remember when we were applying it was really difficult. The requirements to get into dentistry are so high that it's sort of just ridiculous how much they want. Um, but that's where Bulgaria comes in. For people who are 
um, just unlucky enough to even if you get the grades not get a place uh, in the UK um, Bulgaria is a very valid option when you're coming to Bulgaria the main requirements you will need is a C in biology and chemistry A levels and along with that you will need to score highly on the entrance exam but that is about it and if you do these three well um, you are pretty much guaranteed a place at the university so it is a really good backup option if you want to know more about um, moving to Bulgaria, studying in Bulgaria, things like that. Um, just click on one of the playlists, I'll put them in the description or just go on my channel, watch any of the other videos and um, they should give you all the information that you need. Next question. So the next question was, explain your average work day at university. Let's see what she said. As I'm going into final year, it's kind of changed up a little, but mainly I wake up at like half seven. Even though I live like next door to dental school, I wake up at half seven. I have my breakfast. Yeah, we like, start university around half time, seven. Like, watching hundred percent hotter, or whatever. Now we have clinics like all day, so we'll have something in the morning and then a clinic in the afternoon. So, for instance, or I'm going to be helping out some of the younger years with their um, patients, or like at least like guiding them, not really like helping them, just kind of like shadowing them making sure that they're okay and then that's going to be the morning so that'll finish at like 12 or 12 30 i don't know what time lunch is i've actually forgotten i'll be back in for my afternoon clinics and some days like i'll be based in different cities and then when i'm based in different cities it'll be like the full day in that different city but if it's in dundee usually in the morning like i'll be on different clinics so i could be helping out some of the younger years or i could be um just like on oral surgery, but then in the afternoon I'm on something else. So yeah, it just depends. Final year, you're literally just timetabled in so crazily to loads of different places, but we don't get lectures anymore, which is great. And um, we actually get like tutorial type things and seminars. So again, they're just scheduled in randomly. It really is like, you have to just keep constantly checking the timetable because it's updated like, crazily all the time it's not a very organized final year if i'm being completely honest it's very like it's just yeah you just have to keep checking the timetable um what year do you start clinical practice so our um so dundee actually have changed the format at which they teach but for us um we started clinical practice in third year yeah with us at university uh, we start normally around 7 30 a.m in the morning we'll have either a practical class or a lecture class. Um, I am in third year, so uh, we haven't really started our clinics yet. In uh, Bulgaria, we start clinics in the fourth year. We do work with phantom heads, which is just like plastic model heads uh, with the teeth, the jaw and everything uh, working just before we get to the patients, just to give us a little bit more experience. So, you know, messing someone's teeth up. It is difficult waking up at 6 or 5 a.m. every single day to just have your breakfast, get ready and get to university by 7.30 and then coming home late. But the thing is that at the end of the day when you graduate, it's going to be so worth it because you're going to have a nice relaxed life um, and you're going to enjoy what you are doing. What is your fave? I don't know what you meant by this dentist ad, if you mean like your fave subject or fave clinic but I will take it as a fave clinic. I do like paediatrics because I love kids, but I think my favorite clinic is cons because you get to do loads of random stuff. So maybe a patient will walk in, it'll be like root canal treatment or you'll do a crown prep. And before I would have said it's my worst because I would have been like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. But like now it's my fave because it gives you good experience and you don't know what's gonna come in. That is really interesting. Um, I can't wait to actually start doing the clinical side of paediatrics because once you are a dentist, most of your patients are probably going to be either little kids or really old people so um, to have the ability to actually work with these sorts of patients while you're still in dental school before you graduate and get that experience I think that's a really good thing um, personally my favorite subject so far I am in third year so I, I haven't seen all the subjects yet but my favorite subject so far would have to have been either anatomy or prosthetics clinic wise I think it was prosthetics because I really liked working with the little teeth and learning the anatomy in the theory and then actually applying it and making our for example our adapter systems or uh, creating our partial dentures or complete dentures but then I have videos for my partial denture and my complete denture on my channel so you can see the whole process of how I made it from start to finish Moving on to the theoretical uh, side of the subject, I think my favorite theoretical subject would have to be anatomy, um, but that too because of the practical aspect of it. Um, in Bulgaria, we have actual cadavers, so it's not like you see a projection somewhere, or you see a 3D image of it, or you just see the uh, human body in a picture. We actually have human cadavers in Bulgaria where you can go into the uh, anatomy laboratory and you can actually just learn the anatomy points on the actual human body, which I think is really helpful, um, especially for more visual 
learners like myself because actually seeing the nerves or seeing the muscles and seeing the bones it really helps um, to just sell everything into, into your memory so I really do like that um, about the way that they teach anatomy in Bulgaria anyways next question the next and the final question that I asked her are you excited for your future yeah I'm so excited for the future like oh my gosh I have literally got plans like Okay, see now I'm starting to think about question one when you said how does it feel to nearly be a dentist because you're asking about the future and I'm just like, this year has been like, even though it's just started, I can tell it's already going to it's gonna be amazing. So I'm hella excited, like, I can't wait. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, so. And that was the final question that I asked her. I'm really glad that you are motivated towards your future and that you are excited to see where you are going because it's always nice to see someone excited about their future. Um, and personally, I am really excited as well to see where I go uh, with dentistry and to see where my future life goes. So um, it was really interesting hearing your answer, Savira. Thank you so much for answering them. For all of the viewers, if you are someone who has just come over from Savira's channel, uh, I want to just welcome you to this channel. Thank you for watching. I hope this video did help you. I hope that um, you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe right down there below if you haven't subscribed what are you doing subscribe right now and check out all the other videos on this channel because I have videos for every single person watching so uh, be sure to subscribe check out all the vi other videos and I'll let Savira uh, take the outro for this one there are all my questions guys thank you so much for asking me them dentists uh, and yeah I look forward to having your questions bye